I'm from Texas and I know cool. you were Texas state trained. Was yeah. there was there anything about the Texas art scene that may have contributed to the path that you're on and maybe selecting a part as deep as this? Uh yeah. I think the program I got to be a part of was so, so instrumental in that process. I went to Texas State University and the head of our program, Caitlin Hawkins, she had this wonderful, and still has, she's still alive. <laughs> she has this wonderful motto and it is fail forward. Mm -hmm. Make all of your mistakes in class. Do the wildest thing that comes to mind in those safe spaces where there's no job on the line so that when it comes to really intense situations, you're far more brave. And so we had a crash course and just trying things and throwing spaghetti at a wall every single day and doing our best and falling on our faces but like not really caring because it's it's fine you can just always get back up so yeah i'm i owe so much to that program and teaching me who i am as an artist good well i'm happy to hear that so speaking of the path we're on yeah. there's a great conversation in this series about the paths we choose and how paths sometimes choose us your character talks about how her grandmother was her hero and how the 13th congressional district is in her DNA. But she also mentions how once she started working there, she became disillusioned by it all. Did that conversation in the in the series have any sort of effect on your thinking about your own journey and the path that you're on? Maybe you recall a moment where the magic of the art form lost its sparkle a little bit and maybe how did you stay on the path or how did the path stay with you yeah 100 percent um i went through several years actually in college ironically we were just talking about it <laughs> where i wasn't really excited to do mm. what i was doing i didn't understand why i was doing it i knew i was good at it but that wasn't enough that didn't mean anything to me I was making other people happy singing and dancing on a stage, but who cares if I wasn't? And again, bringing it back to my teacher, Caitlin, I went to her and I said, hey, I'm going through some shit right now and I don't care. I don't care about this art form and I need you to know that. And she said, that's okay. You're allowed to not care about it. It doesn't always have to fill you and fuel you every single day of your life. That's a ridiculous mm. ask of one thing. You are a multifaceted person and to expect one art form to like fill all your needs, that's absolutely ridiculous. And so it was just a journey in, in finding fulfillment in so many other different ways and making sure you're a well-rounded human being first before you go try to tell a story, you know? What do you care about in the world? What do you care about in politics? Who do you wanna be on this planet? All of those things come first before we try to outpour constantly. Otherwise it'll just be empty and it'll lose its sparkle. Right, right. So as, as tough as this material is, I really liked how the show cuts between especially in the first episode between the the plane and then all the characters who are linked by the, the the tragic event because the series jumps around from perspectives and how you know people from all different walks of life are responding to it is it important for you in the performance you give to know what scenes kind of bookend your own to see if there's some, I don't know, subtle poetry or an emotional bridge that kind of links them all together? Or did you only focus on your part and leave the construction to all the filmmakers involved? It's a little bit of both. So mm. when you get the script, you do want to understand what that through line is and what the story is they're trying to tell. But you ultimately understand that in the final product, they might splice it together in a completely different way. And so in that moment, the best thing you can do is to trust your director. And we had wonderful directors the whole time. And our our director for the pilot, Fisher Stevens, mm -hmm. you know, you don't always know what the final product should be or how to pack the punch in the best way. And so we're going to shoot a lot of different options in a lot of different ways. And in the end, we're going to have this buffet of ingredients and then make the appropriate sandwich, if that makes sense. And so in a lot of those scenes, it was just trusting his words and just diving 
deeply into the truth of every single moment and then allowing them to piece it together in a way that works because th my job is done. So it was, it was definitely a moment by moment uh, trust exercise. Because of the, the headspace the characters have to be in, the emotions required to, to make them human, as you said, what has been perhaps like the greatest reward of being a part of this show, whether it's like the, I know that this is just the, you know, the early stages, um, but there had to have been some like really great conversations that you had with the actors, the filmmakers, and then there's just all the time that you're going to have ahead of you where people are going to have a reaction to it. They're going to relate and you're just going to have some really deep conversations about yeah. it. Yeah, I feel so grateful for the time I was able to spend with some of the actors who are more experienced than myself. I grew up watching Friday Night Lights and wanting yeah. Connie Britton to be my mom. <laughs> yeah. And so then suddenly having her on set with me and realizing that she's just as lovely in person as she is on screen, there was just Everyone was taking care of each other, which was so, so wonderful. And getting to watch more experienced actors interact on set and operate in their space of work was so, so fascinating. I just felt like a sponge just soaking in everything that was going in on around me. But then I also feel changed by the character, Adriana herself. She's a really really brave young woman yeah. and she's often the youngest adult in every room she walks into and she shows up anyway and practicing that month after month after month inhabiting that character that can't help but trickle into your everyday life and i i think i walk into rooms differently now because of her so thank you adriana <laughs>